Hello, this is Carrie Kellogg from MK Unique Designs, and I'm about to embark on my journey of opening the June spinning box from spinningbox.com. This month's spinning box is Sunsets. You ready to come along on my journey? I've got mine. To get yours, just go to spinningbox.com. Thank you for watching. Are you ready to go on your journey? Next month's box, the Psychedelic 70s. The first thing you're going to notice when you get your box is how wonderfully packaged it is. It's wrapped in a tissue paper and this one says thanks for being an amazing customer and having amazing taste. We have a little ticket in here that says join the spinning boxes tour de fleece team we spin as the riders in the tour de france pedal sign up on our facebook page spinning box tour de fleece team so if you would like to do tour de fleece with um, spinning box please head on over It always amazes me how much Mary can get packaged in these little boxes. This box is a sunset theme. When you support small businesses, you're supporting a dream. Thank you. And on the back is a yarn tracker. Adventure awaits. It's a postcard from the Utah Arches National Park. It's the Delicate Arch. Next we have a, it looks like a bookmark, the spinning box, Be Bold and Proud. Can you see that? It's very pretty. I like the peacock. First up on our amazing fiber journey, is Prairie Sunset from Celestial Design Fiber Art. And she says, or he says, one of the joys, many joys of living on the prairie of Minnesota is the spectacular sunsets from pale blue and yellow in the winter to brilliant blue in the summer and awesome orange, pink, lavender, and blue that follows spring thunderstorms. It is that latter that was my inspiration for this fiber. Enjoy the blend of wool, alpaca, silk waste, tinsel, soy, and soft silk. This is Celeste Souter. She's an amazing bat. You can just see the sky right there. Actually, probably lay this way. Or maybe not. You've got some yellows, pinks, a lighter pink and a blue. This is going to spin up into a lovely fiber. Next, we have West Maui Sunset from Aloha Blue. While driving along the coast from Lehaina to South Maui, Hubby and I caught this beautiful sunset along the west side of Maui. I immediately snapped a photo and knew I had to create a colorway. She also put in her packet some Mango Maui Black Tea. Let's look at the West Maui Sunset. This is a Moreno and Tinsel. Lovely shades of green. Kind of a turquoisey blue, yellows, kind of a gray purple, which is very subtle. 
back to yellow, greens, blues, turquoises. Look how beautiful this fiber is. Very soft. Next, from Feisty Fen Fibers, we have a smooth art bat called Parisian Sunset. This is Merino Top, Bamboo, Cecil, and Angelina. It's beautiful, beautiful shades of browns, orange, pink. I wish you could feel this. Next, we have Sepia Sunset from Vatter's Velt Farm. Sepia Sunset is built out of merino, surrey, alpaca locks, bamboo, silk, and viscous fibers. Look at this beautiful bat. We've got a lot of whites and neutrals against oranges and pinks and golds. Can you imagine that bat spun with this bat? Look at those colors and how they go together. You would think these two got together on their bats. Beautiful. Next, we have Sunsets Lake Michigan Sunset Fox Farm Studio. The inspiration for this fiber came from many evenings spent on Lake Michigan watching the sunsets over the gorgeous Great Lakes that stretch farther than the eyes can see. Sometimes I'm near one of the many lighthouses, but many times it's my toes in the sand and the sound of the waves and the utter beauty of the sun reflecting on the water. You will find blue and gray in this fiber to reflect the color of my favorite lake along with shades of orange, yellow, and a touch of pink, depending on where the sun is in the sky. May you hear the waves of this beautiful lake as you spin your yarn. This is Polworth Silk 8515 blend. She also includes um, spinning notes and a spinning card. Look at this beautiful orange, yellow, gray. And you know I'm going to just have to pick these two back up because these are going to go with that. I think in this box you're going to be able to get several skeins of beautiful yarn. From Material Culture Fiber Arts, one ounce of Targi wool top, raised and processed in the USA into the mist, mist heap. Can you see this? colorway. It's beautiful. And she matched it perfectly. Look at that. You've got yellows and pinks and lavenders. And it is so soft. If you've never spun Targi, Targi has a nice spring to it. 
makes a very fun and bouncy yarn. From New Hue Hand Spun, One of a Kind Sunsets in Bam Huey, 60% Merino, 40% Bamboo. Every night at Eagle Creek, we are treated to an amazing sunset. I couldn't choose just one sunset, so I used 12 of my favorite colors for a one-of-a-kind sunset colorway. Each roll of the gradient fluffle, easy-to-spin fiber is a unique sunset. For tips on spinning Bam Huey fiber, check out the blog at blog.newhousehandspuns.com. Can you see this? You can see the sunset. The black of the sky, the oranges, reds, and yellows to pale orange. This fiber is gorgeous. From Kamaj Fiber Arts, we have Sunset in Nepal, a wonderful blend of Coriadal and bamboo. In this, there's blues and blacks, yellows, oranges. How beautiful this is. Depending on the way you turn it, it shows where the colors are. Mary has some great videos on how to spin this in a way to keep the colors spinning from the fold. Um, be sure to check her out if you're wondering how to keep these luscious colors intact. From Iron Will Farms, we get Fin Sheep Custom Hang and Sales from Danielle and Andrew Wentz. Let's see what this is. This is registered Fin Sheep and Crosses. Fin Sheep Crosses. Let's get a little sample of the Fin Sheep here to spin up. very soft. The breed study this month, Fiber Focus, is the Dorset. It's a Rare Breeds Conservation Society of New Zealand. And in it you will get raw Dorset. You can learn how to wash your fiber if you've not ever taken the chance to try that. And you'll get some um, Dorset roving so that you can spin it right away. Also, I have mint infused cellulose combed top. This is a new fiber that Kamaj Fiber Arts has been offering. Oh, it's very soft. It feels almost like a Tessa silk. I heard it smells. Maybe I was informed wrong. It smells clean is all that I can smell. At the bottom of each of these boxes, you also find a whole bunch of goodies. So let's check those out. I have a mustache blower. Let's see what that sounds like. I have a little, little wool everywhere here. Okay, I got a bracelet. Um, I heard that you can put essential oils on the black beads. I'll have to, to look into that a little bit more. A sunshiny sucker. A little bit of Euclid No Rinse Delicate Wash in the lavender scent. And some Princess Pebble Pops popping candy. 
I think this is why children love the boxes so much. Not so much for the fiber, but for all the luscious treats that are in the bottom. So, what am I going to spin first? This fiber is going to look gorgeous with this fiber. Add that. Look at these oranges and browns, blues, and yellows. My entire spinning box can be spun into one gigantic ball of yarn. Every color in this box goes with the other colors in this box. There's enough, enough richness and color that this is going to be a gorgeous, gorgeous skein of yarn. If you want your spinning box, please go to spinningbox.com. Spinning Next month, join us for the Psychedelic 70s. Thank you for watching. Again, this is Carrie Kellogg from MK Unique Designs. Hope you're having a great day. Have fun spinning.